My name is Christina Henriksen. Uh, I am a Sami woman from the border area between Norway and Russia. Uh, the Sami people is one people living in four different national states, Norway, Finland, Sweden and Russia. And the Sami Council is one of the oldest organizations that have members from all four countries. And we have, were established in 1956 and our main uh, mandate is to promote Sami rights and indigenous people's rights. This climate change have, has, a, has affected the Sami people um, first and foremost in the biodiversity. Uh, we see that, that new species are entering our, our homeland, uh, other species are, are uh, disappearing and um, uh, this, has, this has impact on, on uh, food security. And, and also on our, um, uh, our fish stocks and our way of, of living. And also the climate change has caused some, some serious uh, consequences for the reindeer herding uh, communities because reindeer husbandry is a major part of Sami culture and, and livelihood. And with, with uh, so large changes and and um, um, for instance, so so heavy snow, loads of snow as we have had this winter, it has almost uh, it has been devastating for many uh, reindeer herding communities. Reindeer, the reindeer do not find food because of all the snow, and uh, due to the the dramatic changes and the rapid changes throughout the winter, there are different, so many layers of ice uh, preventing. The animals from finding the lichen under the snow, and also from from the herders, uh, preventing the herders from from actually herding their 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 animals, and being able to to take care of the animals in the way that they would would like to. So that are uh, how the climate change has impacted the nature. That is one thing, and we are very attached to the nature. So so, but on the other side, we are also. Uh, use the coping with changes and also to make use of whatever new new things arrive. Uh, but also what, with the climate change uh, in the Arctic, that means that that uh, there are new opportunities for for the other parts of the society, and we definitely experience increased interest in our areas. Uh, from from the industry, and that is uh, that is worrying for us, as we also see that as a threat to our to our uh, rights as an indigenous people and our rights to self determination, because of the heavy pressure put on our our lands. The Summit Council is very concerned about about the increased extraction of uh, of resources in our uh, in our homelands and across the Arctic. Um, we don't have that much. We don't have any land to to give away because of of the already existing uh, uh, industrial uh, uh, interventions that are that are in our areas. Uh, some of our, our businesses, some of our trades, are very depending on land and uses the land uh, as a as a ground for for the livelihood. So, so the increased uh, oil extraction and the interest of, of extracting minerals and also uh, shipping and so on, that, that uh, poses a, a serious threat to the livelihoods of indigenous peoples and also the Sami people. And we uh, fear that, that uh, Sami rights will, will not be respected uh, uh, if, if the development continues as, a, as it has already.